Welcome to chapter 2, section 2. In this video, we're going to be downloading WordPress from WordPress.org and we're going to be installing it um, onto our XAMPP server. So let's go to WordPress.org and at this time 3.5.1 is the current version, it's the latest version. So you just want to click on download and download WordPress over in the right and just save that. I actually already have it but I'll download it again. So while that's downloading what we need to do is prepare um, our local environment for WordPress. So we need, we need a database. In the last video we installed XAMPP and I showed you the PHP My Admin interface so we want to go back to that and you can get there through uh, localhost slash phpmyadmin and I'm going to log in and you can see I have databases on the left here I'm going to create a new database and I think I should actually go over the project that we're going to do um, we just need something to build so that we can go through each section and, and you can learn this stuff. Um, I'm just going to create a, uh, a personal web development blog and we're going to call it uh, My Web Dev. All right, so it'll consist of a WordPress site with some static pages like About Me or in a contact form, stuff like that, um, as well as uh, a full a full blog po uh, um, system um, and we're going to set up some plugins some uh, widgets pretty much go over every aspect of WordPress uh, using this site so let's create the database for that and I'm just going to call it my web dev alright so now if we look in the left hand side uh, we can see uh, the my web dev database if we click on that, you can see we have an empty database. There's no tables. Uh, the, the tables will be created when we install WordPress. So now we want to go to the htdocs folder, and that should be in your C drive, uh, and then XAMPP, and then htdocs. I actually have it in my library, so I'll be accessing it from here, but the default location is the C drive and obviously I ha you're not going to have all this these are just um, pretty much just development sites that I already have I'm going to create a new folder which you should too and I'm going to call it my web dev and in that folder is where we want the WordPress files so go back to wherever you downloaded the WordPress package it's in my downloads folder somewhere in here. Alright, so you want to open the zip package and go into the WordPress folder and you want to grab all of the files in that folder and put them into your uh, My Web Dev folder. Alright, so now we have all of the folder, uh, folders and files we need. Uh, if we go ahead and visit localhost slash my web dev it's telling us that we don't have a configuration file that we need so it's telling us we need a, a wp-config.php file if we go to the files uh, the, for our WordPress site we can see that we have where is it wp-config-sample.php so we actually have to change that to the file that they're looking for. So we just all we need to do is get rid of that uh, sample in the in the leading dash and make it wp.config or sorry dash config. And now we want to open up that file. Uh, I'm going to use Notepad++. It's a really good free editor if you want to uh, just Google Notepad++ or you can just use the standard notepad. Um, so what we need to do here is fill in our database fields and that's this area here. Uh, if you remember we created the database so the database name 
what it's doing is putting the date we're going to put the database name into this constant uh, this is a constant which is like a variable except that it doesn't change so we want to put the name of the database which was um, my web dev and we want to put the user into this constant which is root and then we want the password for the database the one that we plugged into PHP my admin and this 90% uh, of the time will be localhost if you're using XAMPP then it's localhost but some companies some hosting providers will give you something different to use for the host but most of the time it's localhost so we can leave that and that's everything we need to set up we can now save that and now let's go back to localhost slash my web dev and reload that and now it brings us to the installation so the first thing it asks for is a site title uh, my web dev and this is where you'll create your actual WordPress login uh, by default it gives you admin as a username I'm just gonna keep that as is um, if you're having if you have a live site on the internet you might want to change it because hackers know that admin is the default username um, we put in a password and you want to put in an email address I'll just put my Gmail and this is pretty important you want to make sure this is checked so you can allow search engines to index your site if you uncheck this your site will not show up in Google or Bing or any of those um, providers so now we want to just click install WordPress and it does its magic and now it's been successfully installed so if we go back to PHP my admin if we reload our web dev um, database you can see that all the WordPress um, tables are there. So now we can click login. And it's important to note the URL of the admin login. It's always going to be your site slash wp login.php. So bookmark that, remember it. Um, that's where you're going to log in. So if we put in our username and password, log in, and we're, this is our dashboard. This is where we'll start creating posts, um, adding pages, media, plugins. Uh, it's a very user-friendly interface. I think it's one of the best um, in terms of, you know, if, if users aren't that tech savvy. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory but we will go into a tour in the next video um, so we can see it's up and running let's just check the front end if you go up to here it'll have your site name and visit site now this is the front end of our site this is our this is our website uh, this is the default template that comes with WordPress uh, very very simple uh, gives you a sample inner page by default the home page is going to be a blog roll so that'll be all your latest posts uh, but we'll go into that in the next video so that's how you install WordPress everything's up and running well so I'll see you in the next section